everybody how you are doing good day to you or welcome again to another video on my channel this is your blessed home tv i want to welcome every one of you who is joining me for the first time please consider subscribing hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so i keep you notified whenever i upload a new video i like to say thank you to every one of you who already subscribed who joined me here who support me here on this channel so moving on in today's video i want to talk about enemies and the family whom can you trust you know in my last video i talked about friend enemies whom can you trust so i was thinking about that but well, in today's video i want to react to the strange stories and news and sacrilegious things that is happening in nigeria i just want us to have this conversation to try to understand what is going on and you know to to find a way of moving around it because up until now i don't know about every other african country but in nigeria the family is the foundation is the bedrock because you don't have any government that is present you don't have any where to go to about the family so if you are in trouble if something has happened it has been a tragedy if there's something like joy you know it's the family and in extension your your village your local community so normally there's nothing like government and so now we're having this crisis that uh, uh, the people that are supposed to be family that is the blood you know the blood is sacred in in Igbo, it's like opera like the blood of your relative the blood of your brother is sacred you're not supposed to think of anything negative about your brother and normally your brother is somebody that you know you have a bloodline together it, it doesn't have to be your mother's child or your father's child but as long as there's a blood connection there is the family but today we see some kind of thing that is going on and i don't understand it you know uh, someone made a comment in my last video and said that maybe you know series of failed government had made people to become um, you know desperate and lose their values so i'm going to start with this story about a triplet a set of two men and one lady they are 21 years old so one of them decided that he wants to be rich and, and, and like this thing could just uh, take go for this life so he decided that he's going to become rich by all means now and what did he come up with that he want to use his brother to go do something so he now went to take, uh, you know, a tapia pia. This thing where they put for rats, something. He went to use a tapia pia, put inside food for the brother. So when the brother came and started eating it, he asked, uh, uh, this soup, they changed face. Uh, uh, what happened to this soup? So because of the way the thing was feeling and, you know, the color of the food, he now raised alarm. And so people came. So when people came, they were like, hey, what happened? They now realized that uh, uh, he put something inside the thing. You won't kill your own twins brother so i put this video in my facebook uh, page you know how it is on this page because of community rules so i just put the video there to avoid any trouble so you can see the picture of the three of them. The one that is carrying the uh, leaves on him is the one that tried to do the something. And the other one that is, uh, you know, the one that they wanted to do away with is the one holding him. So when they brought them there, like the community now came together, they brought them to a square and they were trying to, you know, say, okay, you wanted to give this food to somebody else, you must eat it. So he now took one meat inside and put it in his mouth. And just fell down and they said no he's tricking nothing happened to him he was still having that meeting his man he didn't swallow it so and the brother that he wanted to do away with was now holding them and saying please oh the sister was you know like confused and uh, screaming her head off so yeah the brother that he wanted to do away with he was one even pleading and holding him and saying my brother or oh, my brother and then they went to bring palm oil because i think they believe that palm oil neutralizes the um toxic effect of whatever it's in that uh or that, pia, pia, that rat something so that was how this guy was saved so the bottom line is this is his own blood brother his own twins like you know they came three at once three plates and he had a mind that he wants to use one of himself like to become i don't know like this thing is is really strange then the second one and i want to talk about is this one happened in Auchi. So this man, it just happened recently, just this last week. So the man wanted to go to GTP bank to withdraw money with his cousin. So 
the last time they saw him, they saw him without his cousin. They were going together to go to GTB and uh, withdraw some money, something like that. So that was it, though. They didn't see him again. So uh, later now, they were looking for him. They didn't see it. Then they called uh, police people. They came and took that his cousin. So when they took the cousin, they questioned him and he explained whatever he explained. They left him. And so then they continued to look for him. The family were looking for him. Uh, I think they have age grade people and the age grade people were also looking for him. So the family also went to the GTB bank there in Auchi and told the bank manager and the one that is managing his account that look at what happened he came here to withdraw money they have not seen it so they promised them that they will keep an eye on the account and monitor movement so lo and behold some days later they saw a movement in that account so they notified the police people and the family immediately that there's a movement in that account so the police people came immediately before he could finish with his transaction in that bank they kind of delayed him and so when they came lo and behold it was that his cousin so they now started asking him what happened where is the man and then he confessed that uh, he has already by the man that uh, uh, they had a disagreement over 2 million naira land. So he decided to do away with him and he took his ATM card with the intention that he's going to go to the bank and take all the money. But unfortunately for him, it didn't work out well for him. So they say, okay, where is he now? He now took them to Igara Road where he put him, you know. So that was how the man take work out. His own cousin, his own blood cousin. So another one happened in Asaba. So this one is 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 unbelievable. Like they are family, they are living in the same compound, like you know, brothers, you know, brothers, you know how they live in Igbo land that uh, everybody uh we have their own house within the same compound. So it's the same thing with them. So they live there, and this man has seven years old twins, and also his brother's children are there, they're teenagers. So these 18 years old boys, they say they normally meet together where they talk about football and all those things and uh, they talk about being rich and how they can become rich and one of them said how you can become rich is to use space and do money so they decided that they want to be nigeria's youngest billionaire and they set out to look for native doctor that is going to help them to achieve that goal to become richest youngest people in nigeria and they found one in aguleri who told them that he can make them billionaires and richest people in nigeria but they have to bring somebody that is going to use to do the thing so they now came back home and they were thinking who they are going to use they now consider to use one old woman and they said no the woman is kind is generous and uh, uh, they decided against that but they decided to use uh, their brother's children who are twins twins two boys and so they set out to try to uh, you know find a way to get hold of the boys so they said one of them decided to ask the younger brother to help him to lure the children out of classroom but the boy said no the teacher will not accept so they said he came to this children's house to ask the father if they are going to school that day the father said yes they are going to school but he didn't think anything of it so that day they said he even went to school to try to get the boys out but the teacher chased him away then he came home and waited for the children to come home and then when the children came home he came also to them in their father's house and said they should go to the stream to fetch water so the father still didn't think anything about it and so the boys now went with him because normally in the village children will go together to fetch water in the stream so it was when they now went and they didn't come back again Meanwhile, that his junior brother that said that he asked him to help him to lure the brothers and said when he came back, he saw him eating and there was a knife beside him. Then later he went out and came back and, you know, that knife was stained, you know. So it, has, it was not like, uh -uh, this knife is stained. But he didn't know what to do. And the guy now said he should help him to bring water and pour on the hand and the knife so that he can wash it. So he helped him to wash uh, the hand. So later, when they started looking for the boys, it was that junior one that now went to tell them that he saw this guy like this like this and in the morning he already asked him to help him to get hold of the boy so they should ask him 
So the family now tried to get hold of this one that the brother has told them about and he escaped. He ran away to Anambra and they were looking for the other teenage boy that is also their mate that they are moving around. That if he knew about it, this other one, we also knew about it. So they started looking for the other family teenager that if this teenager know about it the other one we also know about it so that was how they now found him and he now confessed that they wanted to be the youngest uh, richest nigerians billionaire nigerians you know so the father was very heartbroken I am still in shock because I find it hard to believe that it was Onowa and Ozo that planned it both are children of my blood brothers So the two teenagers, Uzo and Onowa, they are blood relatives to this man. So his own brothers had those boys. And the twins are their own cousins, you know. So they are all first cousins. So when they ask them, why did they do something like that? Why did they take hold of their own cousins? They said, yeah, because they live in the same compound and it's very easy for them to get hold of them because, you know, of trust. So nobody will suspect that they will be able to do that or nobody will think that they have the capability to do something like that. So these are two stories that I've told you now. Then this third one happened in Lagos State. And and it's so incredible because it was the mom, the mom of this one that did it. So this guy, he said he's 33 years old and uh, he wants to do Yahoo Yahoo into one blow. He won't make his own money. Then he now told his mother that he wants to make money and the mother should help him. So the mother now said, let them go to a herbalist. So they went to the herbalist. Then the herbalist now told them that okay, they could see mad. Now person had a good job. So they no go feel use ordinary hand and they go involve person inside. And the person where them go involve, it go be their own blood it could be their own sibling so he said him and his mother they now went home and thought about it and the mother now said okay that they should use their brother that their brother he's 21 years old that he's just 21 years old now so they can use him so the mother now went to bring something hmm? So they now put the thing for him in the food now. So when he finish eating, they say after he don't finish it, he not even reach twenty minutes now. So the guy say waka, fiam. So when the guy don't waka, so he said him, his own brother that is thirty three years or so. Now he can't use the hand. They take the parts where they say made them bring. You see, so they can't take all the parts before they say that they say na finger na eye and head or so. Uh, when they don't take all the parts, finish. Then the husband say, may they go put on for, you know, say, now their brother, now their feet, or say, I sick or whatever. Say, may they go put on where they, they keep their body, no be in the con, they go for a road. Police come me there. So, okay, wait till na carry. They say they no carry anything. Now they say, oh, yeah, mom, now open boot. Now, so they they see their own picking, their own brother. Imagine. Now, so they they see mama carrying your own picking. Where you don't buy. So this is incredible and I'm just telling you stories that is happening within families, you know. So what I'm trying to say is everybody needs to be vigilant. Family has changed and uh, everybody needs to be vigilant. There's another one that happened in Bauchi. So it's a medical student, a medical student, somebody that is going to be a medical doctor. And now plan with some of his boys. They now want to take their neighbor's child, five years old. They say they won't use and collect money for their papa hand. They can't collect the money through, through. But they say the Peking recognize them. So because the Peking recognize them, now they no can feel leave them like that. Now so they can't take by the Peking. They put them for one corner. So the one that is a medical student now uses his own share to go and buy bins. And then police did their job and caught them and caught all of them. They now come together. And they were asking them why. What happened? Why would they do something like that? They said they did not plan it. It just happened. It was not their intention to buy the baby. But the baby saw them and he knew them and they know that he's going to tell that it was this person or that person and because it's a small picking and so they decided that they are going to do like this because uh, they don't want to be found so all these things is happening because uh, people have not understood that times have changed obviously times have changed you see and uh, the watchword is vigilance 
just be vigilant you cannot because somebody is your brother your sister your mother again and be you know you just have to be vigilant now because these stories they are strange how can a mother decide with one of the child uh, is it not she that gave back to all of them and now decide that okay hey this one he's just 21 years uh, someone that is 21 years he's you know everything is before him he can be and on be i don't know what has come over people that and i don't even know all these herbalists that they are demanding for all this thing the government supposed to ransack them and arrest all of them anyone that they pinpoint they're supposed to arrest him and deal with him together with the other one because if they don't ask people to go and bring all this thing they will not be bringing and and they know that it's a lie all this thing doesn't work i feel that it's time for the government to deal with all these people that call themselves herbalists that will be asking people to go and bring this and go and bring that anybody that they catch and he said it's also so person that asked me to bring it for whatever reason they must take the herbalist along with that person enough is enough so anyway what i want to say in these stories i'm saying saying it's not that i want to scare anybody but i want us to learn some things from it because you cannot just be open-minded like that again obviously everybody's not open-minded again so caution and vigilance is the word be cautious be vigilant okay look at this father of that twins somebody came and asked you is your child going to school today you say yes you're supposed to be thinking why and uh, what does that have to do with anything you understand that's supposed to rekindle your system say uh, how can you be asking me is a normal thing children will go to school why would they not go to school supposed to follow them and then he will come back to the house again and say he want to escort them you understand so we should be vigilant and let your systems be be like is you know like antenna anything mm, you'll be thinking about it even if you want to be paranoid so be it you'll be thinking that hey my brother is in my house it's my brother now they will be on that day they do it that they do with your children so everybody should be vigilant and cautious the time of blind trust uh, my brother my sister has passed my mother my father no that time has passed honestly it's not like i'm spreading hate but i think that uh, we need to come to the new understanding that you cannot just leave everything open like that again the way we used to be because uh -uh, our people say that it's the person that is close to you that will know that you have mouth order. If the person is not close to you, he will not know that you have mouth order. Like this one now that he took him along, he's his cousin. He now wants to go and take money. So if he didn't take him along, he will not know that he has money in the account. But because he's, he saw that ah, my cousin and my boy, he took him along and that was how. So at the end of the day, it's vigilance and caution. If you take somebody along, let him stay somewhere. Let, you don't have to show him the content of your this thing. You know, you should be able to keep so many things to yourself this time. We live in a very, very dangerous time. Yeah, caution and vigilance. You have to be cautious. You have to be vigilant. Don't take anything at face value. Ask questions. Think about it. Even if you want to think it back, so be it. Because, uh-uh. How can this be that young boy? They say, why did you go for your your cousin? He said, because it's easy for them to have access to. Because nobody's going to question them. Like, in our case, you know, of course, stranger cannot just come and say, come, let's go to the stream. It's somebody from the family. So, best thing, if you have little children, take them to school yourself. Go and pick them up. The time has passed that you'll be thinking is for rich people. No. If you're picking, they go school. Carry and go school. Carry and come back. Carry them go church. If you know they go church, stay for house with your children. I remember when we were growing up, normally they used to have a children's service in, around seven. We'll go for children's service, then we'll come back. If they are still doing that now, don't try it. When you are going, you go with your children. When you are coming, you come with your children. If you have small children, let them stay with you when you are in the church or you sit down for your house. So, time has changed you see the story we are following is this blind trust you just carry small picking whenever the worker go pull for church crash that's it i'm not seeing that baby opting now so everybody should just be cautious and vigilant you know don't take anything for granted that's just what i'm saying yeah i don't know if i miss any point i'll continue it in another video but for now i would like to say if you have not subscribed please just me subscribe to my channel and i want to say thank you to every one of you who already subscribed and i'll see you very soon in another video bye for now bye bye